you 
Yes, Lord, you are my desire. I want nothing more or less than your presence to be here, to be with my viewer and listener, to feel whichever room they are in, or if they are listening to this in the car, to feel that car, and for them to feel your power. He first 
loved me. You know the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't wait for you to change. He didn't wait for you to be clean. He didn't wait for you to stop drinking. He didn't wait for you to stop smoking. He didn't even wait for you to love him. He loved you first and what a joy. It, it, we will take more than our lifetime to understand that statement. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. John 3.16 doesn't start by saying God looked at the righteousness of the world. The Bible says God so loved the world. And what a love like that, that someone can give their own son to die for you and I. Today, as we worship God, accept Him. You can join me and let's sing this song together. Oh, Worship is a vehicle to that place where you experience the presence of God. And in that presence, many things will happen. One of those things that will happen is, is, is that He begins to change the person you are. 
and in worship and in the presence of God, if you had pride, he convicts you of that pride. He reminds you, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit will come and he will remind you everything I said. Not just like a memory, but a conviction that this is what the Bible is saying and this is what I'm doing and so I'm in error, I'm off. And today as we worship, may the Holy Spirit remind you of when you loved Him and now you don't love Him like you used to love Him. You used to do Bible study, spend time in prayer. But when things change, I don't know, maybe you're listening to me, you got a job, you got a husband, you got children, you got a car, you got money, you got land, you got a house, and you forgot. I will say like Jesus, may the Holy Spirit come and remind you of the things that Jesus said. May he remind you of the person you are. You're a child of God. You should never forget that, that you are a child of God and he's your father. Again, the people listening to me and they're saying, but I'm so dirty to even consider him a father. He's your father when you're dirty. He's your father when you're clean. He's your father. Today, accept him. Lift up your hands. And just sing with me this song. Wakuwa Waku heshi mi wani wepe Mungu Waku pewa sifa Na utu kufuni wepe Yeah. 
if you're watching this before we end we'd like to give you a chance to receive Jesus as your personal savior please repeat these words after me if you've never gotten born again you don't know who Jesus is maybe you know but you've never interacted with him I want him to come into your heart say Lord Jesus I know I am a sinner I've not been believing but today I believe I confess with your mouth that you came and you died for my sins I believe in your heart that you're the son of God and you are Lord I confess that I am born again if you've saved those words from today you are a born again Christian you're a believer so please look for a born again Christian around you and tell them you know I received Jesus as my personal Savior and look for a church a sound church a Bible believing church and join and tell them to take you through basic teachings of Jesus Christ my name is Pinson and I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless you. Mwamba imara Kwako ni kosalama Ni kupenini mungu Usi eshindwa Usi eshindwa